for a long time, we've been limited to the number of productivity tools that have been built by uh, you know, a few companies. So Microsoft has built Office, Google has Docs, and they've really been pretty simplistic. You have this you know, document editor that was basically designed for number crunching and not for actually creating your own you know, broader set of software. And so what we want to do is kind of expand the horizon of what anybody can create on their own with this Lego kit approach. The interesting thing is that the idea has been around long before I've existed as a person. Um, you know, there have been uh, you know, kind of great computer visionaries from even the 70s and 80s who foresaw this world where you know, computing would be this really powerful medium and anybody who used it would be able to come in and just create their own software, not just use pre-canned software. And so I think that in a way, you know, this idea has been sort of inevitable in the world, but, uh, but nobody has gone and, and really tried to tackle it until now. You know, we've all heard, I think at this point, the, the concept of software is eating the world. Um, but I think what, what we didn't realize is that it's gonna leave a lot of people behind unless we do something about it. And so I think ultimately it was this idea that you know, we have one of the most profound um, innovations ever. I mean, the, the medium that literally enables, you know, anyone to think of an idea and then build it into a form that's dynamic and alive and creates value. And to really give people the ability to, to tap into that and, and kind of be a part of that has always been the, the root cause of Airtable. Every company is different. There are some products where the ramifications of, of breaking something are, are fairly minimal, right? Um, you know, especially in the early days of, of Facebook, um, where, where that adage came from, um, you know, the, the idea of breaking something, it wasn't that um, impactful. But for Airtable, we always knew that we wanted to create this platform that itself would be used by other people to create incredibly powerful and important things. And so, you know, the, the idea of, you know, kind of moving quickly at the cost of potentially breaking things, whether it's internal culture or, you know, kind of external facing product uh, was just a trade-off that we could never afford to make.